Things have been changed to protect the innocent. The name's Spanner. Dick Spanner. Private investigator. I was getting close to closing the case, but Mendoza was still out to nail me. One of his goons had cornered me in the storm room, but I'd put a slug through his gut. Then someone had hung Juan on. I knew then I needed to head south, down Mexico way. I'd taken a Greyhound across the border. It had been one hell of a ride. I guess I'll never learn. It was late, but still damn hot. What I needed was a long, cool beer. It was a no-horse town in the middle of nowhere. I headed for the bar. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The joint was jumping. Made sense. It was full of Mexican has beans. I knew enough of the local lingo to get by. I gave out with a good knob on the hair over. I'd seen the hair over before, but I couldn't place him. I ordered Ein Stein und Ein Wurst mit Sauerkraut on rye bitter. Come back up, sir. The jerk didn't seem to catch my meaning. Dumb as a sack of rocks. He poured me a shot of the local brew. Why not? Thank it. Bells tasted like it was made out of cactus. I mean, spiky. But I didn't let on. I said it was Wunderbar. I decided to hit the assembled citizens with a couple of questions. Like Var East her Harry Vester a human cannonball. All I got was dumb cop looks. Why well, you can't win them all. An hour and a couple of bottles later, I knew it was time to rouse out of there. Another dumb move. I threw one of the locals a good knock. He didn't say nothing. A couple of drunks were taking up the whole damn sidewalk. With these bimbos, I could be here all night. Now there were three of them. That reminded me. I'd been warned to lay off the chili down here. It was dynamite. I'd been sleeping it off when something woke me. It was coming from the window. Someone was out there in the dark. It was Wild Man Carew. He said the circus had moved south and he'd been fired. He sure as hell looked burned up about something. He told me he knew where to find Harry the Human Cannonball right now. The Big Top. I was about to get all the answers. As I moved, I spotted Senior all over. This time, I wasn't going to make no dumb play.
Yeah. My 45 with a hair trigger. I was set. And so was the trigger. I called him out. I said, it's all over, all over. I told him this was the end of the line. Jumping Jehoshaphat. It was Mendoza in Alova's overcoat. And that ain't easy to say. He said to drop my rod. I was covered. I've looked down some barrels in my time. This one took the biscuit. Maybe it was the end of the line. For yours truly. Bizarre. <laughs> 